I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here, but you guys are doing fantastic today. Got another fun video with the Druid in Brawls on the map Estuary, and uh, it's really interesting, and we'll talk about some of the, the gameplay and the tactics and techniques. But before we begin, like, su subscribe, bell button below. Appreciate all the subscribers and supporters of the channel. We just did a free premium DD giveaway at the next milestone. We're going to do doubling that, so we'll get to 4,000. At 4,000, we'll do another premium uh, giveaway. This time, we'll probably do something else besides a Destroyer, and we'll see where it goes from there. But as always, thank you guys. Can't thank you guys enough for making this channel great and the community great as well. So let's learn something. So Druid, and this is the map Estuary. I like this map because it's interesting enough, it has all these islands in the middle, as you can see right here, that gives you so many opportunities to do many different things. You can rush, you can hide, you can uh, you know sneak around, especially if there are no uh, CVs in the game, you can maybe get away with it. And uh, obviously we were radar right there off the bat, but now the radar goes down. And just knowing, hey, what's the technique about uh, knowing how long a radar lasts, knowing their distances and checking them. Always check the, the, the game lineup at the beginning of the video so you can know, hey, where are the radars at? Where are the, you know, potentially subs or, you know, radar destroyers or whoever that you need to know to maybe mitigate that possibility of being detected. So that's why I like doing that. And then obviously we're going to go rush the middle right off the bat. Kind of like Two Brothers. If you don't know what that map is, I mean, it's, it really opens up opportunities. Just rush up the middle and just go and split the enemy team in half. Kind of like what we're doing here. I've got enough support, surprisingly enough. Some people are actually pushing with me. So I like that and enjoy that. Brawls has been fun lately. This is where the current season of Brawls right now where it was nine versus nine, I think. But now it's like seven versus seven. But when nine versus nine, I think that's a great matchup. Great numbers right there. We cap Alpha right off the bat, which means then we can go bully other people here. So let's see what is in the middle. I think there was a gearing here. Yep, gearing totally outspots us, but unfortunately he did not realize how close we were. I'm not sure why we spotted him. I thought, uh, you know, gearings are uh, less than six kilometer detection, so maybe he didn't build for it. I'm not sure. He uh, goes in smoke, but we're our gun range is so uh, long that we are spotted by the moon from the Yamato right there. So he can see me. Now, unfortunately, uh, anybody that's spotting for that gearing round went behind uh, island cover, and now we're undetected. So we have an advantage here. We're going to go rush the smoke with our hydroactive and see if this gearing sat in a smoke, and now we can go bully him. The thing I like about Druid a lot, it really, especially with the heavy AP um, built with the commander build, it really does devastating work on everything, especially with that just slight increase of AP damage. Man, you can really melt a lot of things. You can see our team right now is holding alpha. We're going to go ahead and split the difference right here and go take Bravo, which is really ballsy. You normally wouldn't do this in competitive, but hey, you know what? This is kind of like a random-ish kind of match where, you know, I'm not really sure about the caliber of players in this game. So, you know what? I just take chances and I just, we're all about having fun here, right? So let's try out different things. Things and see if we can get away with it. We're currently being radar right now, which is a bad thing. And we find the gearing right off the bat. A little bit of help. Now look at that, what this AP can do. That's why I love the, the, the Druid so much. It just, just punishes broadsides, you know? And, and that's, again, you have to find those opportunities where people are making mistakes or caught in the open and you can capitalize on that. And that's why there's a lot of reward in that and I enjoy that from the Druid. Um, a lot of people don't like it because it doesn't have torpedoes, not good concealment and it's not really of a good DD role player but man this thing is really just a knife fighter. It goes out there and just dishes out damage. Right now we're currently being hydro by I believe something in the middle Z42 six kilometer hydro so we got to be very cautious about this coming around the the island we want to make sure that we're not just caught in uh without being spotted now here we go Ooh, c42 is now spotted within our hydro and now we're just going full broadside against him we basically just caught him on a flank and boom slash one there goes that first oh and here is the gearing we're gonna go ahead and take out him also maybe get a double kill and we get our extra consumable and i knew i had to take a chance i knew i would be spotted by the wisconsin but you know what we're gonna go ahead and turn and nose into him and this is the power of what the druid can do at distance nosed in is very very difficult to hit and uh very uh, i would say annoying to deal with honestly i played against the druid it's not fun and right how we pop a quick smoke just like the daring class uh, destroyers have where you have quick reload quick cooling down smokes and they just last enough just to get enough chip damage in and then disengage or run away but right now we're taking the fight to the enemy and this is the wisconsin Wisconsin, um, there was a video that just got released that was a great review. I'll do a talk about that video because I really encourage people to go watch that video about what Euron, I believe his name is, on the, the YouTube channel. He does a great, great job and I think it's one of the best reviews and talks about how to play the Wisconsin. Unfortunately, he's getting murdered right now by the Druid and there's really nothing you can do about it. Um, I wish the Wisconsin had a radar like Missouri does, and I, I really appreciate the Iowa class battleships. Don't get me wrong. I know I dogged a little bit about it. I wish they'd just make it a little bit more powerful. Again, that's another video at 
another time. But like I said, there's nothing that Wisconsin can do at this point. And now we're going to go ahead and pull north, disengage the Wisconsin. But we have another threat right here, which is this cruiser that is off our nose. And yep, there he is. We're going to take on the Yodo. And Yodo is powerful with a lot of guns. Unfortunately, he got caught kind of uh, right uh, at low health. And with a Druid shooting at your broadside, it is not a good thing. Druid's re rate of fire is just something to devastate with. Shooting AP out of Nose and Druid doesn't help out a lot. You might as well switch to HE at this point, but it's a little too late for that because now we're just going to go ahead and punish broadsides. And do we get that even though he's in the smoke? Yep. Oh, we got behind. We ducked behind the cover. Druid's got that fast acceleration of the daring just like that, and then that's what helps it out a lot. And do we get a nice kill at the end here? Boom, there goes Splash 2, taking him out 85,000 damage, ladies and gentlemen. And now we're going to go ahead and turn again broadside. Now, this is the cool thing about the Druid. The power of the Druid is catching ships broadside and just launching and pummeling these heavy AP into the side. You can see right there, look at that. You're getting about 2,000, 1,000, 3. I mean, just random damage all of every couple seconds right there. And it is just devastating. The Wisconsin just cannot do anything about this. He's just seeing his uh, HP take one uh, quick floor our uh, quick uh, stop straight to the ground floor and it is done right there and that is power of the druid flanking everything right there 112,000 uh just not fair right there we eliminated three ships off their side and uh pretty much that is the the game right there and uh, here comes a montana and i've always liked taking on montana's uh, montana honestly i think is a more powerful battleship in my personal opinion i think at tier 10 for the american side so Again, I wish they would just make more Montanas, honestly. I mean, it's good. But, okay, I'm not going to dog. I mean, I love the Wisconsin. I love the Missouri. I love the Iowa. And the next one's going to be New Jersey, right? So, I, again, I love the Iowa class. Don't get me wrong. I've been on the, the deck of the Missouri and very eerie. Not eerie. I'm sorry. Very choked. I don't want to say it. It gives you goosebumps and choked up feeling knowing that's where they surrendered. The Japanese surrendered on the deck of that thing to end World War II. And I, I, I don't know what – I don't have any words to describe that feeling when you're standing there and looking at that. But, anyways, I digress. Uh, taking on the Montana. Now, I'm just trolling here at this point because why not? The game's pretty much over, and I'm here to have fun. So let's see how much damage we can put into this Montana before we die. Um, kind of like, hey, last resort, uh, last man standing, and I just kind of go straight at him and just see what kind of damage can I do in a Druid uh, straight on Montana. And I do have another video to show that, what we can do, Druid versus Montana. I'll show that in a minute, but um, or in, in another video. But this is, uh, yeah, me, me just having fun at this point. Isn't that what this is all about? Just having fun. Just having a blast. You really don't gain or lose anything from this other than just in pure enjoyment. We're shooting the nose right there to see if we can get maximize damage. And ooh, we take one right off the nose. And ooh, we got shot from the Smolensk off and left. So that's what kills. But anyways, Montana goes down. And that's pretty much how the game ends right there. But man, was that not fun? Just going straight up the middle, splitting the team in half. And you can see what it can do to an, uh, an enemy flank. Uh, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got took something out of it. As always, thank you guys for all the support. Can't thank you guys enough. We're on our way to the next 4,000 right there subs, and we'll do another uh, premium uh, giveaway as always. And uh, hey, number one in the team right there in the Druid, dishing out as much damage as we could, and the build will be at the end of the video. You can tell I like the Druid a lot. Very interesting. But I'll do a couple more videos about other ships as well. As always, you guys take care. Be safe. And you see me out there, say hi, and uh, make sure... Uh, you uh, take a look at our channel and appreciate all the support. Let's make this community better. Take care. Cheers.